Caesar is trying to get control of an untamed pit bull named Luna, whose unchecked aggression has become a threat to her family. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I got it. I'm not gonna get hurt because I'm keeping myself very calm and I'm making her surrender. You can see it. You see the eyes, right? You can feel it. That's the kind of repetition I have to provide for her because she will strike. Luna has no discipline. All she knows is this is my space and everything outside is a threat. But that's because no one has ever shown her any different. So I need to get her out of this environment where she thinks she runs everything. Her eyes are kind of scary, you know? What I'm suggesting is a week with us, then she's gonna need basic, basic dog training, like sit down, stay, where words can actually control her brain. Okay. Is that okay? okay? Caesar. If you pray, pray for us. <laughs> we'll take care of her. It feels really sad to say goodbye to Luna, but I realized that, you know, she needs this, and we need this. I'm very hopeful, and I'm really excited to see what Caesar's gonna do with her. Leaving South Central LA, Caesar takes Luna back to the DPC. Luna is a confused dog. She has no idea how to act around other people or in other environments. She's never been trained, so I have to bring it back to the basic fundamental steps. And for Luna, that starts with basic commands. To get Luna used to being around people and other dogs, Caesar arranges a group obedience session. Stay. So this is basic, basic, basic obedience. What people call basic obedience, the dog have to be, have to be able that you tell them to stay and not move. Shh. No. Hey, there you go, stay. Why is this word so important? Because if she learns not to move, especially when grandma passes by, grandma then represents stay. That word is gonna save grandma's life. Normally I don't do obedience, but in this case, I have to do it. This is the best tool we can use right now for her brain, where she is right now. Short and sweet, thank you guys. We'll be back for another session later. Today was a good day for Luna, but for these things to really sink in is gonna take repetition. The hard work has only just begun. When I met her, there's no way in the world I was able to put my hand on her. She wasn't, she wasn't ready. So we have gained a little bit of trust, but everything for her is new. Come on, Luna, let's get back to work. Over the coming days, Caesar continues to give Luna obedience training. So less corrections, more learning, more understanding. That's better. Let's go. There you go. Let's go. There you go. Look, that's better. After teaching Luna basic and obedience, sit. it's time to bring Michelle to the DPC to be part of Luna's progress. Welcome to my house, Michelle. Thank you. Glad to be here. I need to prove to Michelle that Luna can be well behaved. If Michelle has the right energy and knows what to do, she can learn how to control Luna. So Michelle, this is this is the thing. No touch, no talk, no eye contact, okay? Let her find you. Let her, yeah, let her find you. You don't want her uh, her ears to find you. You don't want her her eyes to find you there. You, you want the nose to find you. Okay. I was a little emotional. I didn't cry. To basically ignore her till she calmed down was very difficult for me. It was very difficult for me not to acknowledge her. Ready? Yeah. What am I gonna try? <laughs> Now it's Michelle's turn to attempt to use some of the basic commands that Luna has been taught. <laughs> look, no. Don't look at the dog, just feel it. Feel it through the leash. Oh, I have to get up there? If a dog sees that you're skipping the object, they're gonna skip it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Different? Yeah. <laughs> It's something very new, very fundamental, but very new. So it's definitely something that I sit, want to learn, and I am so excited to get started with it. Leash all the way in the top. Nice. It was encouraging to see how Luna was responding to Michelle. But the real test will be when Luna goes back around for all triggers at Michelle's house. Nice. 